Thank you for joining us today. May God bless you from his word. Remember, Jesus said, two days and we've got Passover and I'm going to be crucified. And then you've got the guys that were actually planning to get the crucifixion done. You have the chief priests and the elders, uh, corrupt leadership in Israel that were wanting to have Jesus put to death. I'd like you to see the two extremes that are involved here. And the difference between the two extremes is what people believed about Jesus. Um, if you believe the right things about Jesus and you commit yourself to those things, the Bible says you're born again, you begin a brand new life. But if you don't, then the Bible seems to indicate that your life just drifts farther and farther away from the truth. Excuse me. <coughs> and it says here, Jesus is in Bethany. That's just two miles outside of Jerusalem. And he's in the home of Simon the leper. Obviously somebody that Jesus had healed from leprosy. And it says a woman came with an alabaster vial of very costly perfume and poured it on his head as he reclined at the table. Now, in John's account, he says the woman's name was Mary, and she was the sister of Martha and Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. <coughs> John also says she poured it on his feet, and she wiped his feet with her hair. Then this passage says the disciples were indignant when they saw this, and they said, why this waste? This perfume might have been sold for a high price and the money given to the poor. And the high price in, in John's account was uh, 300 denarii. A denarius was a day's wages, 300 days wages. In addition to that, the vial that held the ointment was made of alabaster, which was a marble that was from uh, Egypt, very expensive. And so why this waste? Well, once again, in John's account, it says that Judas was the first one to say something about it. And John said Judas didn't say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He had the treasury, and he used to help himself to the money that was in the treasury. So do you see the two extremes? You see Mary, who loved Jesus so much, that she was willing to take 300 days worth of wages perfume and pour it on his head and his feet, wipe his feet with her hair, just out of love for him. And then you have Judas, who was willing to take money that was designated for the poor and help himself to it. <laughs> and then you have rich high priests like Caiaphas, who were willing to kill Jesus simply because he had hurt their pocketbook and hurt their pride. Two extremes. Yeah. The Lord Jesus Christ says that worshiping God and worshiping money are like two extremes. He said you can't serve two masters. You'll hate the one and love the other or despise one and cling to the other. You can't serve God and money. Hmm. Why God and money? Why not? So many people serve money, and some people will do anything for money. Or are you one of those people who would do anything for Jesus? God bless you real good. All done.